Okay, this is the create polygon tool assignment, and I'm going to go ahead and do side view. And we're going to go up to mesh tools and create polygon. And what we're going to do is we're going to be creating a kitchen knife. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll start here. And yours will look maybe different than mine, but more or less if yours is similar, then it'll be fine, no problem whatsoever. So I'm just kind of creating point. Ooh, and it's not exactly straight. You can always control Z back. Well, that's odd. Usually you can control Z back. Mine's not letting me. I think my Maya might be having some issues. So I'll just keep going. And just about two there. It'll be a funny looking knife. And it's all right if it's if it's not the most normal looking kitchen knife. Yeah, my control Z is just not working for whatever reason. So that's the blade. Now I'm kind of going and doing the handle. With create polygon tools, it isn't going to be like there is no round. You just kind of do the best you can. The more points you add, the rounder it'll be. So there we go. Not not too awful. So I'll take it. And I'll go ahead and click away and that turns it into an object. Now I'm going to go ahead and go to my edit mesh and find cut face. Oh wait, they've changed the name of it now. They do that in Maya. So it's actually mesh tools now, it's called multi-cut. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to think about like right here or so is where the handle is going to end and the blade is going to begin. Okay, let me control Z that because I want to try to make it straight, at least straighter. So that's kind of where the blade and the, and I'm just going to press Q now to make a quit. So now they're different. Okay. So make sure you're in object mode so I can select them both. And my faces are black. That means that they're reversed. So if I looked at it from the other way, they would be gray, but I want the front face, like the way I'm looking at it from the side. So I'll just come up to my mesh display and reverse. And now the gray ones are at the front, which is just what I want. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go to my edit mesh. Maybe it's mesh tools. I, they do switch things around, so I always have to take a second to look for things. Okay, it's in mesh now. First, we're going to triangulate this, and it adds these extra pieces, because essentially that was just one face. After we triangulate it, we're going to quadrangulate it, because quads are better to work with. So it doesn't do much. So now we're going to go ahead and I can look at it in perspective mode now. And with this selected, I'm going to extrude. So I'm going to go back to my polygons because then I have my extrude shortcut. I'm just going to extrude it out just a little bit, not very far. It's a knife, so it's not going to be really thick. So now, and it's gray on both sides, which is good. I'm going to go ahead and go to face mode, press Q also to quit, and I'm going to delete all of the faces that are on just one side. So I'll just go and delete, delete, delete. Oops. So when you look at it, you should still have this rim, but you shouldn't have any of that one side. So we just deleted that one side so that we're going to be able to do, basically, we're making half of the knife blade right now. So right now the cutting edge, essentially, of our blade is too dull. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into edge mode. And you're going to select this edge. And I'll hold down shift and do this one and possibly this one. Leave the, the one that's on the very end alone. Now I can use the move tool to kind of move it up and in just a little bit so that it kind of, we've given it a point. Okay. Now 
Now we're going to select the faces that are our handle. So just the front faces. So I'll go ahead and go to face mode now and shift click all of the handle faces that are facing this particular direction. And I'm going to extrude them out. You know, just about that much. It should only be extruding in that one direction, so everything else should still be nice and flat. Then I'll press Q to quit. Okay, so now I'll go ahead and go into object mode so that I can select the whole knife. And I'm going to go up to Mesh, Mirror Geometry, and click on the checkbox so I can make sure. And if yours is the same as mine, we should be able to do it along the negative X. And we want to merge with the original, and we're going to merge vertices. Okay, let's mirror. And what should have happened is it has now completed your knife on both sides. If that didn't happen for some reason, if I'm in the classroom, you can certainly ask me for help. But one thing you could probably do is just control Z and go to mesh and mirror geometry and just try some of the different directions. But if you did yours from the side, then yours should, yours should be okay. So now we're pretty darn close. It's looking good. So we're just going to add a little finishing touch here and there. I'm going to go ahead and come up to the poly cylinder, create one of those. Ooh, mine still remembers my settings from previous assignment, so it's huge. So if you see, if I click on my channels box, go to poly cylinder, I can actually lower my radius to maybe two. Yeah, that should be enough. Height, let's try one. Divisions axis, that's actually okay. All right, so I need to rotate it. So it looks like rotating it Z by negative 90 degrees is going to get it sideways, which is exactly what I want. Ooh, one looks like it's perfect on mine. How convenient. Okay, so do you know how in a knife you get those little kind of metal circles that are holding it all together on both sides? That's kind of what we're just creating. So then I'll control C to copy, control V to paste. Oh, and it's not going to let me paste it. That's okay. I'll just go ahead and edit, edit duplicate special. Make sure to reset my settings. I'm actually going to just make two copies. And if I make them translate along the Z axis, we'll say 10 and see where that gets me. Hmm. Doesn't look like it really. Oh, it went too far. Oh, well, it was worth a shot. So just take one, I mean two to three of these little circles and position them. And I can't even see where they are right now, so if you need to, you can go to Windows and Outliner and select your cylinders so you can actually see them. And I'm actually pretty good with where those turned out. I have a little glitch, it kind of looks like, in my handle. We'll see how it looks when I color it. So since I have these selected, I'm going to go ahead and right click on them and assign a new material. And since it's metal, I want to give it a little bit of a shine. So I'm going to make it blend and I'll name it metal. And the color is going to be kind of a grayish silver. Okay, and that's that. Even if you see it kind of had a little shine to it. Now I'm going to go into my face mode and I'm going to select all of the faces that have to do with my knife. Okay, so that's what I wanted. And I will go ahead and assign existing material and assign the metal to it. And then now I just need to, in face mode, select these ones for the handle and go ahead and assign a new material and 
and it depends on if you want to try to make these a shiny thing. I'm going to go for the classic kind of black handled knife without a shine. So there you go, there's my kitchen knife. Maybe one last little touch is I could go to edge mode, select these two edges that are on the end, and use the scale tool to kind of bring them in. Because, you know, knives tend to be pointed at the end. So then just when you take your picture, just make sure that I can see everything. So we'll see how this looks. Yeah, obviously that's not a good version. It's not a good picture. Try it again. It's really dark. So just make sure. Yeah, see, that's not going to work. Because I did a black candle, it makes it really dark and I can't see it. I could just kind of do what we did with, whoops, I'll just make a sphere, make it large. I'll assign a new material real fast, just a Lambert, make it blue or something. Then if I select my display and reverse it, oh, and I might need to scale it out more so that it's not getting in the way of my picture. There we go. See, now my handles, now my knife has a blue background, so it's easy to see that the handle is there. So you just save this and take a picture, and you are done with the kitchen knife. Nice job. Make sure to go turn it in on canvas as a JPEG.